here talking to you I the father natural father powerful firm authoritative and when he said do this you have to do that that was my father we're going to a particular church and i saw we go on sunday if we had any problem during the week my father will you know go the natural way the native way if we children were sick he'll give us a kind of you know concoction when i was very young i was born again but i began to read the bible and i saw this is wrong i saw they'll give me those things i would drop them somewhere i couldn't tell him that you know i wasn't going to use that thing, but i wasn't born again and then i became born again and then i went to my father i said dad you know what now i am born again somebody help me shout amen, amen. and then i said no more of this no more of this no more of that for the first time in my life I could say no to what was wrong. That was my father. And then eventually when he looked at the way I spoke, he understood a change had taken place in my heart. On the basis of understanding, God has spoken to me, I was going to obey. Then I happened to be under an atheist, my principal. That was another man, a great figure in my life. And that man was not an ordinary atheist. He was a militant atheist. And he told all the members of staff, he said, this is what you do. Now I was born again when I was a student in that school. I wasn't born again as a student. And I did quite a lot of things. Number one thing, I went back to the principal. And I confess, I made restitution of all the things that I did as a student. And then eventually I became a teacher there. And all the other teachers, I tell them, come on Sunday. Nobody goes anywhere. We have this work to do on Sunday. And then on Saturday, if we started that work, I'll say, sir, tomorrow Sunday, I am a Christian. I worship God on Sunday from early morning to late at night. And then I will not be there on Sunday. I'll go to church. I come back on Monday, and then I continue my work. And all my students that I taught in the scripture union, I told them, you're born again. Here is what you do under the principle that rejected our faith and we said this is what we were going to do and i stood obedience is what has carried me thus far number one my earthly father militant great authoritative but obedience was the order of my life number two my principal in the school and the one that employed me after I came out of university and even before going to university, obedience was the order of the day. And then, number three, man in my life, a militant preacher, a militant pastor, the pastor, the overseer of our own church when I was still in that church. And then they were not, they didn't agree with evangelism. And I saw the word of God and it says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And then I started a Bible study. And then I started evangelism. I was still going to church. I didn't think that anything would happen because here is Bible. And then the overseer called me and said, you know what you're doing? You want to have a church within a church? I said, what does that mean? church within a church did i create any church inside here he said you are preaching oh i said of course and you're going out everywhere and you are telling people preaching the boss and preach everywhere i said of course he said we don't accept that here i said so you don't accept the whole bible here he said that is not their doctrine i said but look at the bible go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and he said this is not play listen to me if you continue 
and you do this which i have told you not to do and you're quoting bible to me what will happen we will cast you out of our church i said go ahead and do it and i kept on obeying the word of god eventually we're talking about something now that took place 41 and a half years ago long long time ago and then they announced my name and they said i wasn't a member of that church anymore i didn't recount i didn't compromise i didn't say all my friends were there i had no friends any other place and the only people i knew were in that place it was an isolation it was loneliness but i said loneliness isolation whatever i am going to obey the word of god that's what brought deeper life bible church deeper christian life ministry that's why you are here today the obedience of one man has made this possible all over our country we're still standing on that holiness without which no man shall see the lord all the countries of africa were standing on this word of god follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the lord i have suffered so much for this obedience in my early years at home at school and in church and now that year my years are running to a close i'm older now i'm closer to the end than i was 40 41 years ago the whole word of god while i remain alive whatever the challenge whatever the persecution whatever the reaction i will continue to the very end and you will continue to the very end in Jesus' name. Like father, like son, like father, like daughter, like father, like children. They came to me and they said, this is not the way. I opened the Bible to them. I said, this is the way. And I disobeyed anything that was not according to the consecration that I put on my hands or the plow. I'm not looking back. And I'm still like that today. After I was converted in 1964, 1964 to this time, calculate, is a long, long time. And yet I have remained on the word i'm going to be obedient unto the word until i die i pass it to you now that same courage i pass it to you that same conviction i pass it to you that same dedication if deeper life is going to remain as deeper life you're going to be obedient to the word in jesus name